Stairway to Heaven Arena never gets old. I love being here in Purgatory. And if you love Full Metal Mayhem, you might just want to spend the rest of your life here in Purgatory. I'd rather take the elevator to hell than spend another minute here. I bet my left nut on their last home game and literally lost half the family jewels in the transaction. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Baltimore Razors take on the Full Metal Mayhem. Have won the scope. Receive. They want the ball first. Hi, this is Grim Blitzrow, and welcome to the Mutant Football League. We'll be right back for kickoff, but first, let's listen in on the pregame speech. Hey, man, I'm scared of the I don't have no cinema. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing, because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Second down and nine. First and ten. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond great kick too bad they don't get points for touchbacks It's a punishing hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck in the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man. Very smart. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Third down and six. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get
get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car and died. I just told him. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Second down and six. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their feet boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. And this is a first and long offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. forever oh man he really wants it and he steamrolls through the defense on that play and picks up a nice chunk of yardage Second and eight to go. And the defense calls a strawberry field's dirty trick. You now this takes me back to the crazy days of my youth, Bricks. <laughs> Good times. Married a little Swedish midget, lived in a sweat lodge for about a year. Well, at least the, I think that's what I did. Third down and nine. And he breaks away. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome to... It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy! Where are we going, Grim? Our carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to our strategic show. Where are we going? Yeah. Hey, why don't you settle down just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. The kicker kicks the ball so hard his leg is a registered firearm. Now you see why. Three yards, but a tough three yards. Oh. 
Second down and seven. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. A touchdown saving tackle. And it's first and ten. Crusher right there, folks. And that'll be second down and four. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. And that's how you stop an offense. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Perfect kick. Great way to kick off the carnage. Another turnover for the defense. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear you're drunk. I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drugs, eat school, and don't go vegetables. Oh, with the brutal hit! Third down, and the punter is warming up. He could go all the way! Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Braves ran with a ball and didn't fall down. Hello now. <laughs> now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And get the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is 
good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And he kicked the snot out of that ball. <laughs> Someone get him a Kleenex. First and ten. And the two-minute warning sounds. They'll have to regroup during this timeout. says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> First and ten. Oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble! He's got a case of fumbleitis. And that'll be second down and four. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Oh, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey! Looks like he does have some turkey skin grafted on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. I don't know if we can have it! You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Pacow! What a kick! That's headed for the end zone. Pacow? Yeah, just throwing some stuff at the wall to see what sticks, Bricks. into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Uh, we are there aren't too many players that kids can look up to at home. I'm glad one guy can't get the sack. That's the next best thing. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused! Third down, and he 
takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my offseason. They used their second timeout, but they are running out of time. I'm a bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. And the defense goes for the juggler and rushes. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? formation to try to conserve time. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down and six. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Was almost intercepted. <laughs> when in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me, the whole well, the full metal mayhem crashed and burned it home today. Another opponent just said emphatically, this is the end, my friend. They just walked on down the field and said, I want to kill you, and then did. The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching the new Game of Bones on NBO. You know, I watched that on my phone, too. Oh, really? Let's go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.